Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jongkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season. And welcome to the season two of Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Choni. Setting limits is an important part of parenting. Limits keep our children safe and healthy. And if we do it right, our kids will internalize the ability to set limits for themselves, which is otherwise known as self-discipline. In our last show, our participant made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. Last week on the show, I committed that I will concentrate on my studies. My grandfather's commitment has been a brilliant one and he has been keeping it up. He has been checking my notebooks regularly, so we were discussing and it improved on the concentrations on my studies compared to last time's uh, concentrations. My favorite book is Nancy Drew, written by Cor Carlin Kenny. This book has been made a great change in my life. I love this book because I haven't visited other countries. Though through reading through this book, I have came to know, learn about lot of places in this book. The fence. Just then, the old lady awakened for a moment, sat up straight. The nurse near the old woman. I thought so. That crying, the nurse commanded, Lucky for you, here I am on the other side of the fence. On the show, I commented that uh, I will monitor my granddaughter's uh, homework or exercise regularly. So, uh, since uh, the show, I've been monitoring her uh, exercise or notebooks regularly, and it helped a lot uh, her to carry her work uh, up to date and it helped a lot for me to understand uh, her progress in the school. Come on, come now, stop that crying, the nurse commanded. If you act like a baby, you will have to be treated like one. The old lady lifted a fragile blue veined hand in post-its but let it drop limply. Kids raised with punitive discipline have tendencies to be easily angered and depressed. That's because authoritarian child raising makes it clear to kids that part of them is not acceptable and that parents aren't there to help them learn to cope and manage those difficult feelings that drive them to act out. They're left lonely trying to sort out for themselves how to overcome their lesser impulses. Let's see which family we have today. Hi, I'm Kunzung Dalkadoji. I study in Duke School. This is my little sister, Palin Doma Doji. She is six years old. She also studies in Duke School. This is my father, Seda Doji. 
I'm coming to the show with my father. I'm very excited to see how my how much my father knows about me and how how well I know my father. Whenever I have time with her, I always make sure that they sit near me. We spend time together, read book, explain. Mostly, I focus on uh, in. Uh, reading um, um, uh, Zonka books and teaching how to read and explaining and even the content, contents of the book, the story, the moral of the book, books, which she, she really feels a uh, little difficult in understanding. So that could be one reason why she always, I think, the, she made a complaint of not giving enough time. So I think I'm doing fine with that. Let's welcome our first participant, Dad Sitar Doji, and ask daughter Kinzang Dolker Doji later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to the show, Ola. Um, my first question, as always, is do you know your child? I suppose I know my child as a parent. Okay, all right. Mm. Now tell me a little something about your family. Who is in it? Uh, we are a small family mm -hmm. with two daughters and parents, both the parents our working parents, mm -hmm. and we are supported by a babysitter and to do the household chores. Oh, okay, all right. So you have f five of you at home? Yeah. Okay. Now, you and your wife, you both work, yes. you said. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's difficult to not have someone supervise at home and leaving the house to just the babysitter? My wife is a nurse, and she has a different timing for work. Yes. So most of the time, I think the babysitters she's not left alone. Okay. So. Okay, so when uh, you're off to work, your uh, wife is there. Yeah. And when your wife's off to work, you're there. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, you have come here with your eldest daughter? Yeah, elder daughter. Tell me something interesting about your eldest daughter. Uh, she is a wonderful uh, girl, mm -hmm. I should say. She is understanding, mm -hmm. very responsible, and she knows the limit, whatever she does. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, um, do you think whatever the characters that your daughter has, every character, do you think it's uh, passed, passed down onto her from either you or your wife? Or is there any character that you and your wife don't have at all, but surprisingly she has it? Uh, maybe it is, uh, I think, the passed on from the parents. Everything? Uh, yes. Okay. So not a single thing about uh, her? I think kids, they learn from their parents. Mm -hmm. It's uh, how parents bring them. Um, uh, or teach them. I see, yeah. okay. All right. Well, um, have you watched this show on TV? Uh, no. Okay, all right. Well, so I'm going to explain to you the rules. I have in here with me 10 questions about your daughter. Then I'm going to ask these uh, questions to you first, then I'll ask these questions to your daughter. Later we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score, okay? So are you ready? Yep. Question number one. What is your daughter's favorite food? She likes to eat paneer. Oh, okay. Yeah, with rice. Is she a vegetarian? Uh, no. Sorry, that's a I'm very... a vegetarian, but I don't encourage them to be a vegetarian because they're at a growing age. Yes, very yeah. true. So she likes paneer. Yeah. Okay. Question number two. What is her favorite book? I think the latest book story she read was the Frozen story. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So it's a book? Yeah. Frozen book. Okay, all right. Do you know your daughter's best friend's parents? I always advise her and also she also listens to me, my advice, not to be too close with the friends. Okay. Uh, yeah. To be friendly with everyone, not to choose one friend. Okay, to be all very right. Close, yeah. um, so she doesn't have a best friend, you'd say? No. Okay. I can say she has no best friend, but I think she's friendly with everyone. All right. So no favorite friend, let's say, not no. best friend. Okay. Um, so have you ever met with any of her friend's parents? Yes. Okay. Question number four. Who is your daughter's favorite actor? She has a favorite, uh, favorite uh, actress, but not the actor. She okay. likes everyone. All right. So she has no cho uh, particular choice about I the see. actor. Yeah. What about actress? Who is it? She likes Tandin Bida. All right. Yeah. Question number five. What is your daughter's shoe size? I'm not very sure because my wife uh, does most of the shopping right. for her. So, 
So you, not maybe even not. a guess. Yeah. Maybe. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you seem very clueless about it. All right. So I think it would be safer for you to just throw in a number. Numbers are very confusing sometimes. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, different types yeah, of, 24, yeah. 24, 25, sometimes 12, 13. 6, 7, yeah, yes. Yeah, 6, 7. So, I'll not take the risks. Really? <laughs> but I feel like okay. if you take the risk, you have chances of doing, uh, getting that one. But if you okay. don't take the risk Okay, at all, 24. 24, all right. Next question. What was her position in her last exam? Fifth. Fifth, okay. Next question. What is her role number in class? 17. All right. How many children are there in her class? Uh, 25. Do you think your daughter knows the name of the fourth king's parents? Yes. All right. Last question. Does she know when the birthday of the fourth king is? Yes. Okay. All right. You've answered all the 10 questions. Now it is Kunzang's turn to answer these questions. Kunzang, welcome to Do You Know Your Child. Um, before we start, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Kunzang Dolkatoji. I'm in class 3A. I study in Duke School. Okay, all right. Do you like your school? Yes. What is one thing you really love about your school? Why do you love your school? Because I have lots of friends. All right, excellent answer. I have asked your dad 10 questions about you. I'm going to ask these questions to you. Are you ready? Okay. Question number one. What is your favorite food? Tin fish and paneer. Oh, okay. Tin fish and paneer. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. What is your favorite book at the moment? Uh, Jokala, the library book. Next question. Do your parents know who your best friend's parents are? Do you have a best friend, first of all? Uh, not really. Okay, all right. Do you think your uh, father has met any of your friend's parents? Yes. Okay. Next question. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Daddy Bida. All right. Next question. What is your shoe size? 30. Okay, 30. Next question. What was your position in your last exam? Sixth. Sixth? Okay. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right. Next question. What is your roll number in class? 13. Next question. How many children are there in your class? 22. Okay. Do you know the names of our fourth king's mom and dad? Yes. Okay. What's the name of our fourth king's father? The name of the fourth king's father is Jigmi Doji Wangchu. All right. What is the name of our fourth king's mother? The fourth king's mother's name is Aji Gezang Chojin Wangchu. Very good. Next, last question, all right? Are you ready? Yes. Do you know when was our fourth king born? On November 11th. Okay, all right. Well, you answered really well. Now, if we are both ready, let's take a look at the scores, okay? Okay. All right. What is your daughter's favorite food? Paneer. Paneer. What is her favorite book? The Frozen Story. Jokala. Have you ever met with any of her friends' parents? Yes. Yes. Who is your daughter's favorite actor? Dandin Bida. Dandin Bida. What is your daughter's shoe size? 24. 30. What was her position in her last exam? Fifth. Sixth. What is her role number? 17. 30. How many children are there in her class? 25. 22. Do you think your daughter knows the name of the fourth king's parents? Yes. Jigmi Doji Wangchu. Aji Gezang Chojin Wangchu. Does she know when the birthday of the fourth king is? Yes. November 11. I now have your score with me, and let's take a look at the questions um, that your father wasn't able to answer correctly. Tukka, okay. your father said Frozen is your favorite book. Is there a Frozen book? No, but I saw well, my friend had that book. And did you want to read it? Yes, but I didn't get a proper chance. <laughs> I didn't get a chance. Okay, all right. 
So, again, let me ask you one more time. Is it Frozen or Dracula, your favorite book? I would go for Frozen. You go for Frozen, okay. Now, because your dad said Frozen and you changed your answer to Frozen, although um, your first answer was Dracula, I'm going to give you an, a point. Your dad said your shoe size was 24, <laughs> which wasn't true. You said it's 30. We checked and it was 30, right? Yes. Your dad said you came fifth in your class, mm -hmm. but you said sixth. Yes. Who is correct? Fifth uh, or sixth? Sixth. Okay, so no point for dad. Your roll number your dad said was 17. 17 yeah. Was that a guess? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that was before. I was 17 before. 17. Class two? Yes. Okay, all right. But, so he didn't ask you recently. Now your roll number is 13. Mm -hmm. Um, the other question that your dad, the last question your dad wasn't able to answer correctly is number of children in your class, he said 25, he said 22. So your dad did really well, 6 out of 10. Are you happy? Happy. Okay, very good. The next segment is the commitment segment. As a parent, I think giving more time with the kids, mm -hmm. listen to them. I think the listening solves half the problem. Yes. So. I think I should listen to them more than uh, ask them to do what we feel that is right. That's very them. true. And like um, you, you said you are a very busy man and the quality of time is limited. You can't give a lot of time to your kids, but the qual uh, that's the quantity of time. But the quality, like you said, if you listen, that improves the quality of the little time that you give to your children, which will help and improve your relationship with your two daughters, right? Is that? Uh, I, I don't uh, really say that I'm too busy because mm -hmm. I go to office, after office I'm free. So the uh, basic point here is that uh, what we as a parent tend to do is uh, advise them most of the time. Yes. Don't listen to them. Yeah. So I think I need to improve on, improve on how to listen to what their concerns. That's very and, yeah. true. Okay. All right, Kinzong, your upper says that he's going to try and listen to you more, okay? So if you have problems with your friends or problems at class, or not just problems, but if someone says good things about you, you should go and share it to your dad, okay? Now he says he's going to listen. So, okay. All right. Um, now for you, I have three changes in here, okay? Three commitments from your dad's side. You have to pick one and you have to promise on this set on that couch that you're going to do this. Of course, it's a commitment. It's one thing you need to improve and to be a better person. Boop. Okay. okay, so are you ready? Yes. All right. It says eat more fruits. Okay, so do you not eat fruits? I do eat apples in the lunch I eat. Okay, so you like yes. apples? Yes. Other fruits? What about other fruits? I do like to eat, but I'm mostly eating apples. Okay. Well, now your dad is asking you to eat other varieties of fruit, like oranges, grapes, bananas, okay. watermelons. Do? Okay. So do you promise on national TV that you will try and do that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to bring my camera and check on you and see if you're keeping up with your promise, okay? Okay. All right, can I trust you? Yes. Is it a deal? Deal. All right, great. I like that commitment. Now let's go to our almost last um, part of the show, which is with love. Your father will read his letter to you first and then you'll go, okay, next. Okay. Wonderful daughter, a source of happiness for family, and you are our future hopes. I can proudly say that you are intelligent and strong, a girl who understands others' weakness and emotion, and above all, you are known for your ability to take control of situations around you. This is distinctive of your sweet nature and please do keep it up with it throughout your life. As a parent, I often want you to do better than what I did as a child. My only advice to you is always work hard and do your best in studies. At the same time, 
you should understand that it is equally important to have some fun as a kid. My dear daughter, always be nice, kind, respectful to other people. Always remember magic words when you talk with your other, other friends. Those words will help you to be a good girl throughout your life. Lastly, be what you are, enjoy your life, no matter how old you are. You will always be my little girl with love, your dad. Do you know what the magic words are? Yes. Okay, what are they? Please, sorry, thank you. Excellent. Do you use them often? Yes. Do you use them? Yes. Okay, all right, good. Very good. That will definitely, like your dad mentioned in his letter, help you be a good girl, okay? Okay. Now it's your turn to read your letter. To my dearest papa, you have been so nice to me in my whole life. You are the world's greatest father. You are a very hardworking father. I am very proud to be your daughter. I love you, papa from your loving daughter, Kunza. All right. Okay, we've come to the end of the show, um, and I have a few things I want to give you, Kunza. Um, I have a few books here, but I definitely want to mention you and encourage you to read this book. This book is about our fourth king and the many beautiful things he did for our country, okay? A visionary king that he is, he's done so much for the country before the fifth king came along. And because... Um, you are a little, you're younger than we are. I think this book would be very much helpful for you to educate yourself about the fourth king. So these three books and this beautiful watch from Titan. With this, we've come to the end of the show. I want to thank you, Kinzang, first of all, for bringing your dad to the show. Although um, you had to wait for a week, right? Because your dad had a tour and... Um, both of you, congratulations on 6 out of 10. I'm very proud of both of you. I hope you had fun. Did you? Yes. Okay, great. All right, thank you so much. Le. Kids raised with strict discipline learn that power is always right. They learn to obey, but they don't learn to think for themselves. Later in life, they won't question authority when they should. They're less likely to take responsibility for their actions and more willing to follow the peer group or to dodge responsibility by saying that they were only trying to follow orders. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye. Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is a winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jonkar, Paro and Thimpu. Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Shoden Songkang in Mongar, Siring Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season.